Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a review of the Aura Ring. I've been wearing mine for a little bit over three months now. I got it in the beginning of July and it's now the first week of September. Um, and I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about my thoughts, how I've been liking it, what I've been using it for, any improvements that I've seen with my health over the past few months. So if you're interested, then go ahead and keep on watching. So the ring that I have is the Silver Heritage Ring, which is $299 and then it is $5 a month to have access to the app, which has the compilation of all the data that it is learning about you while you're wearing it. At first, the price was very daunting to me. I was like $299 plus tax, so like 316, something like that. I think I paid um, for a ring. And then I started thinking about, is it worth it to get this if I already have the Apple Watch? And then ultimately I did decide that yes, it is worth it for me to get the ring versus my Apple Watch because I wasn't really wearing it anymore. I prefer wearing smaller timepieces now and to have a chunkier Apple Watch on my wrist was just not something that I was reaching for every single day. It was a little bit too sporty and my jewelry recently has been a little bit more feminine, a little bit more girly, a little bit lighter. Um, also, I stopped wearing my Apple Watch in preparation for my wedding so that I can get rid of the tan line. So I just got used to not wearing it. So I figured a ring is a lot easier, hello doggy, to just put on and that's it. You don't have to think about it. You just wear it 24 hours. It's way more comfortable to sleep in also. I would never wear my Apple Watch to bed. Yes, you want attention? Hi! So the first few weeks of me wearing the ring, I was looking at the app and I was like, it's not really tracking that many things. I don't really get what the hype is all about, but I realized very quickly that the longer you wear the ring for, the longer it has to figure out different patterns that you have, and then it's able to show you different types of data. So after I've been wearing it for a month, it showed me my ideal sleep time, and then after two months, it showed me like different other metrics and patterns. And the thing that I, like the most about it that I track is my body temperature and my sleep. Um, I noticed that my sleep was just kind of all over the place and trying to figure out um, what times I was going to sleep and how that affected me positively or negatively has been very useful information and it allows you to put tags in to tell the app like, oh, I had um, caffeine today, I had late sleep time, I had took a nap, I had wine, I had a late meal, the air quality, the, the room temperature, there was a full moon, I was hungover, like you're able to put, hello, you're able to put all these details in about your day so that it starts to put together when you do this, this is how it affects your sleep or this is how it affects your productivity or this is how it, um, it affects your heart rate and then it'll tell you in the morning your heart rate was a little bit more elevated last night it doesn't look like you got as much out of your sleep as you could have you might feel a little bit lethargic today like take it easy and then especially if you are like trying to track your menstrual cycle it's really cool also to see like your changes in body temperature throughout the month so that's been really cool so overall i think that the data that it is showing you is pretty damn cool. Like it tells me when my ideal bedtime is for my like routine, my habits, what it's noticed about me and when I've like had the most energy when I go to sleep at what time and wake up at what time. Like I just think that it's really cool. So the biggest changes that I've been able to make in my health since I've started wearing it is one, I've been more active. I don't know what it is about it. Like I haven't really been putting stress on myself to like hit any workouts or hit any move goals like I do with an Apple Watch, but I've just naturally moved a lot more since I've been wearing this ring. I don't know why, like psychologically why that is, but I've also had way better quality of sleep. I've been treating my sleep as a priority when I wasn't before, but now I'm trying to go to sleep at a certain time waking up at a certain time. If I feel tired, I sleep a little bit longer. I check how many hours I slept like was actually sleeping in my app, not just like you were in bed for this amount of time, but I check how long it took me to sleep, if I was restful, if I was moving around a lot, like how many minutes it took me to fall asleep. 
and then total time sleeping in the morning when I wake up and I look at my app, I look at all those things. And then I decide kind of like how I'm gonna go about my day. Am I gonna try to get a nap in throughout my day so that I feel better, more energized? Am I gonna try to go to sleep a little bit earlier? All these things like I really use the data that it's showing me and I'm like applying that into my day and I do feel a lot better. I feel like I have more mental clarity. I have more energy. I'm less irritable. Um, just in general, I just feel a whole lot better. So for me, it was definitely worth the investment. I like it a lot. I haven't really seen that many people talk about specifically why they're liking their ring. They're just like, yeah, it's great. I love it. I like, I just track like my stuff. No, here are some specific details why I liked it. I hope that you guys found it helpful. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.